Well, I'm here. <laughs> Gonna have some babies. My water broke. In 34 weeks, four days. I'll try to make it to my scheduled date. But, oh, uh, this is, what's that? That's the end of the pregnancy journey. This journey is our family journey with three beautiful girls. It's Halloween time. Well, it's not Halloween. It's October. October 4th. Hi to the new people that have are here now cool say hello to the guardian James actually Jack that's his name Jack not James <laughs> I got confused with James and the giant peach anyways hello welcome to my what am I calling this again my urban quarantine life or something like that I don't know anyways hello <laughs> <laughs> Wow so anyway, I was gonna tell you guys that the pumpkin roll, see there's still the remnants of the cake portion of the pumpkin roll. I'm about, I'm about to frost it, but I just wanted to show you guys that pumpkin roll when you make it, it smells divine when you're baking it. And I found, for those of you who might want the scent of pumpkin roll without actually making a pumpkin roll, this smells just like pumpkin roll and the ingredients are what are in pumpkin roll when I seen it from Bath and Body Works it has cinnamon clove vanilla brown sugar all essential parts of pumpkin roll except for brown sugar but it still smells really good so if you want to smell like pumpkin roll up in your house this is pumpkin roll up in your house without the roll but it might make you hungry so you might as well just make it but in case yeah, <laughs> look how long it's been. That's wrong. It is December, which means Vlogmas. And yes, it is, what is today? I don't even know what today is. Um, it's December 5th, so I'm not late. I'm on Indian time. Right now, I'm currently making dinner. You guys are stacked up on my bread. Hold on, okay. So, you have not missed much lately other than a fire that ravaged through our neighborhood. I don't know how many have lost their home, but a few families have had their homes affected. That was really sad. Um, but thankfully, no one was harmed like, like as in died. So that's a good thing. But um, it was just like a normal, afternoon and I was feeling anxious but that's not a new thing because I started smelling smoke and not only did I start smelling smoke but it got really really like smoky like it got really hazy outside like there was like a storm nearby and so I told Kobe here you go some I told him, I was like, we have to get out of here. I was like, well, I didn't say we have to get out of here. It wasn't that dramatic. <laughs> Go investigate, let's see where this um, smoke's coming from. And we we're gonna go look for winter boots for Tommy anyway. So I was like, let's get out of here. Cause I was feeling really anxious cause of the heavy smell of smoke. And not only that, but the high winds. And because it suddenly, like within minutes, got like crazy smoky outside and just as we left the parking lot we noticed that people were heading down the street and us being the nosy Indians we are we're like well let's go up street away from where everybody else is traveling so that we could see what's happening and we did and we ran into police who directed us the other direction where everyone was going but we got down far enough to see where the fire was coming from and baby it was blazing there were some flames 
There was like lots of smoke. It looked like it jumped from one end of the street to our side of the street. There was a house on fire. It was intense. So much that we, at that moment, we were officially evacuated. We couldn't come back to our apartment until the following day. Yeah, we ended up having to stay at the Peppermill Hotel um, with the evacuation rate, so that was kind of nice. It was like a little staycation. We had a room for two nights because we weren't exactly sure how long it would have took for like um, us to get back in because, you know, for the next day, like right after the fire started, it was like only 5% contained. But they eventually got it like in, they got it. They got it under control. So that was pretty crazy. Then after that, we just been keeping to ourselves, you know? That's just kind of like the theme of this year and kind of the theme of my life in general is keeping to myself. Been doing lots of TikTok watching. Oh my goodness. That app has sucked me in and has taken control over my soul so i've been doing that a lot so if you guys want to go follow me on tiktok give me a follow or if you're here from tiktok hi, hi. hi. all this is a real big sign that says joy <laughs> at the church <laughs> i like that one best <laughs> the church <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Ooh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do, Mario. That's what we're gonna get up to. Tent parade of lights, tent place. Tent place. Oh, you guys didn't get first? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do you guys have direct directions to the first place? <laughs> oh, look, they decorated her truck. Oh, a teddy bear in there. Oh, how cute. It's so big. The driver. Are you guys associated with the people next door? <laughs> oh, look, they got Mrs. Claus and Frosty in the elves. Get out and get <laughs> <laughs> And these guys don't care. They're like, they did everything. <laughs> oh, they should get in the spirit and they should all do it together. A big fishy. Oh, her legs get longer and longer every time we come here. <laughs> 